Hey there, this is Andy Greider, and I'm the host and producer of Unique This Week. It's a production of uniquenessespower.com. You can find all of our shows at the uniquenessespower.com YouTube channel. These are all V-casts, so we get to see our guests, and while we're talking with them, you'll get to see them here in just a second once my, my mug's off the screen. But today, we have with us an amazing guest, somebody who is uh, doing something that's really interesting and really unique. Their mission statement talks about wanting to change the world and that true empowerment begins with a shift in perspective. We have with us today the founder of Perspective Shifters, Stephanie Kunkel. Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks, Andy. I'm happy to be here. It is just awesome to uh, always uh, be able to spend time with you, but to be able to do it here is even cooler because we get to ask questions like, how did this all get started? So Perspective Shifters, it's, there's a big goal, first of all, change the world. But yeah. the second part is, how did it get started? This is not a small idea. No, it actually came primarily from my own experiences dealing with mental health. So I had um, was diagnosed with depression and anxiety. Um, and as I was kind of working through that, I also came along the side of uh, stepping into leadership where I was leading others who might also experience those things. Um, and it, very quickly, I realized that one, leadership development was not what we kind of needed it to be from that frontline leadership standard. Um, and then additionally, we didn't really have a whole lot of emotional intelligence or um, kind of understanding around mental health. So as I walked both paths, um, I decided to create something that would help people to step into powerful leadership, but also be able to be compassionate um, with the people that they worked with. Um, and then, of course, I wrote my book. Um, and so those two things kind of collided. And I decided I wanted to help uh, ex do executive coaching for people. Um, however, uh, I have migraines. So as I was executive coaching and having to move appointments and kind of schedule things, I said, you know, there's got to be a different way to, to manage this in a way that I don't have to take everything on my plate but my clients can still get the resources that they need. So what we did was, um, well, what I did is I paired with a bunch of other experts. And then what we did was we created the Perspective Shifters Hub. Uh, and the idea is, is that it's just the central place where you can go and get coaching, whether that is executive leadership coaching, health coaching, um, financial coaching, spiritual coaching, whatever you need. It's one. It's a one-stop shop for you to find somebody that you want to speak with, um, somebody that fits with what you need. Um, and we also provide courses, training, uh, and coaching within that hub. So you don't have to go outside to get everything in an all-in-one uh, place, but it gives you access to experts and professionals who have backgrounds that are going to be able to help um, propel you. So whether that's in your business or whether that's in your personal life, we've kind of created something where it's one-stop shop for everyone for anything. Um, the idea is is that if you want to come in and you want to change the world, if you want to shift your perspective or you want to shift the perspectives of other people, uh, we have the tools and resources and the people to help you do that. You know, I was going to say, so you, I mean, on your side, you've taken it from the book and then the coaching and combined that piece into what you then saw was something that also shifted your perspective, ironically enough, on yeah. how to do all this. So from when you began this, what's been the trajectory of growth? You put together an incredible board of advisors and a, a, you know, a, a, a hub uh, of sorts, um, you know, a couple different hubs. Actually, we'll talk about those in a minute. But talk to me about the trajectory of growth within the community. What, what's the response been like? Is this something people found that they really needed? Yeah, I, what I find really interesting is when we call people perspective shifters, right? That's taking the ownership of shifting your own perspective or helping others. And what I find is, is that when they are perspective shifters, true and by nature, they are excited to be on our hub. They're excited to contribute. They're excited to, um, to learn from other people. They have an open mind and they're excited to just be in that community of people who are also helping them to elevate their lives and businesses. Um, and so we've grown. Um, it was a little bit uh, slow at first, if I'm being completely honest, because I kind of had to get my head wrapped around how do I present this to people? It's just, um, you know, a lot of times in marketing, we'll tell you, you know, niche down, like make a niche and, and kind of move that direction. And I have a background in marketing, um, but it's very difficult to niche down when you the whole design of it is to be able to help anybody um, and anyone who wants to shift their perspective or take championship and help other people. That's what it's designed to do. And that's the vast majority of us. Right. Um, so, yeah. 
You just used a word there, interestingly to me, you used championship instead of, I think most people might say leadership um, mm -hmm. when they're talking it that way. What What is your difference between championship and leadership? Well, for me, they're not any different. Okay. Uh, and I say that because a good leader is always championing for their people, right? They are fighting the good fight to make sure that their people have the tools, the resources, the support that they need to be able to do their job, whether that's in a corporate organization or whether that's our representatives in Congress, right? The idea is, is that they're championing for us, right? Um, and the so, idea, right, Stephanie? <laughs> right, right. That's the idea, right? That's what we were, I, I don't know about you, but that's what I was raised with. That's the idea of representation, right? And um, when I think about the way that we lead from a corporate standpoint, and I think about kind of where we are economically um, and just kind of in the spaces that we're in, I just don't see that happening as much as I'd like. And so for me, it's the same thing. I want to transform the way that leaders look at their people. I want to transform the way that people go into work and experience the work-life balance that we so desperately need but aren't getting. Um, and so those two things kind of coincide because for me, you can't have a leader who doesn't champion. And you also can't have a leader who doesn't understand who they are as a leader. Right. And so for me, there's the, there's a dual course here where you can go in and you can get leadership development, you can get business development, you can get management expertise and advice, but you can also go in as just an everyday person and get guidance for relationships that you have in your life or you know, am I eating the right things to fuel my body so that I can show up in the best way that I can for the people that I that I'm with? Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, as an entrepreneur, you know, you're an author, you're a, a, a coach, you're an entrepreneur. Um, you, you wear a lot of hats, Stephanie, and I, I love that about you because you've got a lot of different perspectives. But from the entrepreneur angle, wearing that hat. What are the lessons you've learned in building out the community of perspective shifters? I know there's been, as you said, there was a little slow at the start to kind of learn how yeah. to say what's going on, what am I doing here? But what what are the what are the lessons you've learned in building out the community? Oh my gosh, there's been so many. So I've been at this for a little over a year let's, now. Let's pick, let's pick one. I, or two. <laughs> yeah, right. Just one. Um, one of the the biggest ones that I've had after being at this over a year, um, and just seeing that, you know, this isn't working and this isn't working. Um, and then finding somebody who would be a resource for me and then me shifting the way that I was doing things to meet exactly what their system said that I needed to do. That was a big learning thing for me because what I realized is, is that I still have to live true to who I am. And that's one of the biggest things about all of the experts that we have on our hub. And that's what they support. It's not about a system that's perfect for every single person, right? Um, it's using those systems as tools to help you to be unique, to help you to express yourself. Because, you know, at the end of the day, every single person has their own perspective. And that's something I say before every single course that we have. We all come to the table with our own lenses of experience. We pick up our lenses every morning and we walk out the door and every single thing that we interact with, every experience that we have shifts our perspective. But unfortunately, there's so many coaches and experts out there right now who are saying, I have a system. And if you just follow my system, it will work for you. Uh, and what I found is, is that it's not like that. It doesn't work for everyone. Um, and the minute that I stopped trying to use other people's systems and I went to using my own and, and being in my own space and just going with the flow like I had always done, um, it started working again. And so that's the biggest thing that I've learned is, is that no matter what, we have to focus on the individual of the human person that's within our hub. It's, I mean, it's the same thing for a teacher is meeting the student where they're at, not trying to teach 27 or 35 kids the Absolutely. same. Absolutely. It's the same thing when you, I mean, we're all adults, but we're all still people that need to be met where we are. Um, that's, and that's, yeah, yeah, that's the beauty of the hub is because the people that you're around in the hub remind you of that. And, and that was something that I had to be reminded of is, you know, my, my whole business, my coaching business, my leadership business, that is all about meeting people where they are. Just, you said it just perfectly meet people where they are. In fact, if you go to my website, it says the coach that meets you where you are. Right. And so, so I, I with, promise I wasn't cribbing. <laughs> so with that though, when you think about that specific piece, um, I hadn't, 
been doing that. And it took uh, my advisory board and some of the other experts that I have to just kind of say, hey, listen, you're not practicing what you preach. You're you're trying to fall into the to the systems and those aren't working for you and you need to go back to the drawing board. Right. And so I did. And that was, uh, I actually retook my own course, if that helps you <laughs> figure out where I was. It's funny because we had that conversation uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe six months ago now yeah. and you were expressing a lot of this and we, we were talking and, um, you know, it's it's been fun on the sidelines to watch this evolve and, and you know, be able to have meetings with you to, to learn more about where things are headed. Um, you know, if I'm a, a advisor or a member in the community, in the Perspective Shifters hub communities, um, what are the biggest things you think are being gained? What are you hearing back from the members? I mean, uh, testimonial wise, uh, feedback wise, uh, results wise, that kind of thing. What what are you hearing back from them? And what if, if somebody's out there listening to this right now, and hopefully it's more than just mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but if it, you know, it's, it's a group that is somebody sitting here listening and saying, okay, I kind of get it, but let's go through some actual real life examples of, of what people have gained. Yeah. So the first and foremost is perspective, right? And I know that sounds really redundant because of what I was just talking about, but, um, perspective is something that we we have to take a step outside of ourselves to get. And we have so many amazing experts who come together to provide different perspectives for people um, so that they can see, see the challenges that they're going through in a different way and help them overcome that. So that's been the number one piece of feedback that I've gotten so far. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely number two is just the support. So when you think about um, the support that people receive on a day-to-day -day basis, especially for business owners, leaders, et cetera, there's not a whole lot of support, right? It's kind of a fin for yourself. You go and you do what you have to do and you go and you start your business and you go and you step into leadership. And when you don't have the support systems in place, it can feel like you're alone. And within the community, um, our experts have really provided support for our members. Um, we have a, week, or a monthly um, tech support coaching call um, where Anna Adams, who's one of our experts, actually gets on and she shows people like what it is to have tech support, right? Mm -hmm. And that's something that you don't get when you're a business owner. No, you don't. There's a lot of the the um, I's and T's, as it were, as I like to say, because there's mm -hmm. a lot of dotting and crossing that yeah. you're, you seem to provide for the members, because a lot of things as a small business owner, you don't have access to, or you don't have access to somebody you know you can trust. And that is another huge key. So the hubs that you've set up, um, you know, and you're facilitating for the members, talk about how those hubs actually, I mean, we've kind of covered it a little bit. Let's get a little deeper on how those work and, and what they cover. Um, yeah, so we, we have a free Facebook page where we share the events that we have. We, um, we work with people um, to kind of come into the group and interact within the group. So um, that, and that's a, f a free Facebook group. I think I said page, but it's a free Facebook group. So you can search perspective shifting um, within the Facebook algorithm or whatnot and find that group. And again, that's free. Um, so you can ask questions there. You can get support from our experts. Um, and we provide um, updates around the events that we're doing both on the hub and off the hub. Um, and then in order to get into the hub, it is a subscription base, but they go in and they pay for um, all of the courses that we have. So right now, I think we, oh, the last time I counted, it was 48, but I think I added 10 over the weekend. So we're looking at 50 or more courses that are within the hub. Um, we have um, 15 experts that are all on the hub. So if you have a specific question around sales or coaching or um, even just a spiritual question, like I'm struggling with this and I need to find some guidance here. We have um, people who can help and respond to that. Um, and so you would just go to the Perspective Shifters website, get on there, and then they're offering within that, we have the, the evaluation hub, the courses, uh, and then we offer live events. So we do networking events. We do webinars um, with our experts where our experts will come in and actually teach you on a specific uh, subject or topic. Uh, and then we're doing discussion groups too. Um, so that way you can get the chance to engage with people around topics that are really important to you. 
I was going to say some of the threads and some of the back and forth that I've seen personally have been really impressive. Um, there's a lot of people that are reaching out and and getting the advice they need, getting the, the pieces they need. And, and that's what I found to be unique about this. Now, I do have a, a potential uh, big question here. Yeah. You know, there, when you talk about the community, the, the goal of changing the world, yeah. of course, it's all a step at a time to a degree, but it's a huge goal. So as, as an entrepreneur, uh, we all set goals. How do you define the steps so that you stay on course to feel like you, you know, what, what are you, how are you benchmarking uh, along the way to feel like you're getting towards that goal um, yeah. or the point that your members and your, your coaches are? Yeah. Well, and I think that that's a really important question um, because personally, I sometimes forget that I don't have a magic wand that I can just wave and make everything the way that, you know, I feel like it should be. Um, but one of the things that some of our experts provide is perspective too. Um, and here's here's what it comes down to for me. We all view the world through our own lens, right? Um, and so the world is kind of ours, if you will. My right. world extends up to a certain point and beyond that, I, it's not really in my peripherals. Um, so making big impact starts with us. It starts with understanding ourselves and how we are relating to the rest of the world, as well as how we're viewing the rest of the world. If you had talked to me 20 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to share this type of viewpoint with you. It was very much um, pragmatic and very, very isolated. Um, now that I am in a space where I am constantly looking to shift my perspective, uh, I'm able to go into different avenues of um, conversations, whether it's philosophical or political, and have a conversation where I feel like I can make an impact. I can shift the perspective of someone in a way or of myself in a way that inspires action. And I think that's what good leadership is. You know, we talked about leadership a little while ago. Leadership, when we talk about advocating, it's also about inspiring action. And I think far too often when we look at how we are leaders, we inspire action towards a specific goal within uh, within our companies or within what we want them to do. Um, and I think when you can inspire action that comes from within, that makes a big difference. And I think that's where we are in the process of making those steps. It's hard to remember that the world is just within our view, right? Right. Uh, when we see things coming up in our news feeds that are negative or, or frankly, horrible or terrifying, right? Uh, when we see those things that are coming up and we're like, how can we change this? How can we make an impact? Uh, it has to start with us and it has to start with the way that we interact with the people that we're around because hate begets hate, hate right? Um, and, anger. And, yeah, I was going to say, and, and not, and being rigid in your perspective also facilitates. Right tremendously so yeah it's it's being open and, and being aware um and at least at least accepting of the fact there are other perspectives so that's really really important i think you you hit actually really well on that question um you know there's a lot there's a lot to that question um the other thing that i wanted to uh kind of remind our listeners of is this is something that works not just if you're an entrepreneur we've talked about from the entrepreneurial angle but if you're a, 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 a executive within a company and you want your employees to have access to something like this where they can get questions answered or they can have some grounding some uh, perspective shift on various things you as an executive may want that as well this isn't just for entrepreneurs it it certainly has a fair share of them um yeah. in the fold because it's sort of uh it meets a lot of the needs um, mm -hmm. it, from one touch point, like you said earlier, Stephanie. So what's next for the Perspective Shifter family and the hubs and everything else that you're doing? Is there a big goal coming up here in the uh, rest of 2024? Yeah. So, well, one, we want to make sure that the hub is is the foundations and the lobby and the check-in points are, are finished and rounded out. And so we're kind of wrapping some of that up right now. Um, but we're launching a few really cool initiatives. So um, one of those is um, a series of boot camps from a tech standpoint to help you get set up. Um, another one is um, I'm actually launching an 18 month um, cohort or course, if you will, based on my book and the lessons that I learned around depression. Um, we have uh, other entrepreneurs and, and experts who are experts who are coming onto the hub who are going to be there to provide um, expertise in different areas like relationships, 
um, and sexual health. We have uh, members who are coming on to provide resources around financial um, aspects, whether that's personal or business financial as aspects. Uh, and we're working also with um, different health experts. So we've got right now we have Dr. Dr. Janice Campbell, and we have uh, Denise Cambiati, both on our hub, um, who provide muscle tuning and um, different types of um, meditation and, and mind and body integration support. Um, and we're also looking to bring on nutritionists and physical therapists as well to help us with the, the eating part and the movement of our body and making sure that we're moving on a regular basis, but not doing so in a way that's going to hurt us. Um, so those are some exciting things that we're doing. We're also launching from a, an expert standpoint. So if you're an expert that falls into one of those categories that I just mentioned, um, we will be launching uh, a consulting piece that where we are learning around um, what our clients need from a business to business perspective. Um, and we'll be offering a consulting opportunity for our experts in the near future. That is awesome. Um, yeah. That's a lot to take in. And at the same time, it's all happening kind of concurrently with each piece. Um, yeah. Watching this grow from the outside has been amazing. Stephanie, if somebody, you've mentioned the Facebook group, um, mm -hmm. searching on Facebook uh, for Perspective Shifters. Is there another way to reach out to you at all that you'd want people to know? Yeah, absolutely. You can find me on LinkedIn. Just search for Stephanie Kunkel. If you look for Perspective Shifting, the, the page is also on LinkedIn. Um, and that's the easiest and most effective way to reach out to me directly. Awesome. Um, otherwise going to perspective shifters.com. Um, that's our website and you can put in a contact form there or get contact information there. Fantastic. Stephanie, thank you so much for being here today. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Honestly. Um, well, again, we're not the show we are without the great guests that we, uh, routinely are, are fortunate enough and, and, and really honestly blessed enough to have in, uh, in the room with us. When Stephanie and I first started talking about this idea, it came out of the book that she was writing, which if you are someone who is suffering from depression, it's another thing to check out. You can look her up there. You can find it on the website. You can find it uh, through her LinkedIn page as well. Um, and it, it really made a huge effect on me because I was somebody that was also dealing with depression. And there were a lot of pieces to that that really hit home. So again, what we ask is if you gain something from this show and you know somebody else who might. Take it, forward it to them. It's a video link. It's not hard to send along. It's a YouTube link. Most people will go to YouTube without any hesitation. And, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of value in what we just covered here. If you're one of those folks that's in one of the categories that Stephanie mentioned and you're looking for a consulting opportunity, take the time to reach out again. Uh, I can assure you, you won't be disappointed. Um, Stephanie is as authentic as she uh, presented in this interview and perhaps even more so um, as you get to know her. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing to get a chance to have somebody in here who uh, is shifting things and is on the macro level literally helping change the world. My name is Andy Grider. This is Unique This Week. We'll be back next week with another great guest. Thank you again, Stephanie Kunkel and Perspective Shifters. Thank you.